Hey everybody, Jim here again. This video is going to be covering my 2020 Toyota Tundra SR5. I got the color, color in cavalry blue and I got it in 4x4. This video is geared towards the people who want this generation Tundra. And as we all know, this is the last generation that's going to come with the V8. I got this Tundra because my old Tacoma got totaled on the freeway and naturally I wanted to upgrade. So I ended up getting this Tundra in March of 2020. So I've had it for almost two years and I'm gonna show all of you what I've done to it and I've already explained why I got it. I'll also explain what I'm planning to do to it. So the first real mod I did was add a transmission cooler. It's aftermarket but the hard lines are OEM, the thermostat is OEM, and yeah this transmission cooler is pretty overkill but it keeps my temperatures under 200. I wasn't too comfortable with temperatures above or at 200. In the summer it keeps the temps around 175 and I haven't seen it go over that. I keep the thermostat pinned and this transmission cooler will probably set you back a thousand bucks. It's made from genuine cooling systems but I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description below for all the mods that I'm listing. For my next mod, I decided to install the OEM tow mirrors. As far as visibility goes, I didn't think the stock side mirrors were up to par. So I decided to go with these since they're OEM. Here's a look of both of them side to side or on each side. And I think the field of view is a lot better now that these are installed. What I also like about these mirrors is that you get an adjustable blind spot mirror and then you get another turn signal lamp. And they're also extendable as you can see over here if you're ever towing a huge trailer or a boat. I think it's a must have. So for my next mod, I added the AVS wind deflectors. Vegas summers, as you know, or as many know, get pretty hot. So these give me the ability to roll down the windows just a tad so the heat can escape. And when it's raining, I also can open the windows if I want to without getting wet. And as far as window tint, I went with 5% all around, front and back. I'm contemplating getting 50% on the windshield, but I don't know yet. Securing my belongings is very important to me, so I decided to get a tonneau cover. The one I went with here is the Rugged Liner HC3, I believe. I got it from Realtrucks.com, and I think it'll run you around 700 bucks ship, but I like it. It blocks out the water pretty well and it secures my belongings pretty well. What I like about it is that you can't really defeat it from the outside since it can't be opened with a wire hanger. It's secured to the deck rail. And here's the Tundra overlay badge in black. And fun fact. You flip this upside down and look what it says. <laughs> okay, so let's look inside the truck bed. I got the factory bed liner installed. I think it's just Linex, but whatever. And then I went ahead and installed the deck rails, as you can see here. They didn't come with the truck, so I had to mod it a little bit since they line next over the mounting holes. But it came out alright. And next I got the OEM bed mat. Just to keep my belongings from sliding 
around. I'm pretty happy with it. And that's how the tunnel cover is secured. And let me show you another thing here. So this tunnel cover comes with an LED to light up the bed when it's dark. I think that's another cool feature. Now we're looking at the rear axle. I decided to install the OEM TRD sway bar. The truck definitely feels more planted on the road with this installed. I also think it looks really cool and it was really easy to install. This will probably set you back around 200 bucks. I highly, highly recommend this mod. Another thing I highly recommend is to add back the driver's side grab handle. For some reason, for the model year 2020, Toyota decided to do away with it. I just ordered the part from Sparks Parts, or Sparks Toyota I mean, and installed it. Installation doesn't take very long and everyone I've talked to has no regrets installing this. I'll also provide a link to this item in the description below. Now we have the front of the interior, or the front of the truck. We got the SR5 leather package. It's holding up really well. I like that it came in gray leather as opposed to the cloth seats. And here's a view of the front. Here's a view of the rear seats. As you can see, it's very spacious, and this is why I got the Crew Max. There's a lot of legroom for the passengers in the back. Oh yeah, I also got the roll down rear window. I think that's a cool feature. And before I forget, I also added the scan gauge too. It's a cool little device. It provides my transmission temperatures and it also displays info from other sensors of the truck. So if I want to see my RPMs, coolant temperature, It'll show you things of that nature, and I didn't get the truck with the sunroof, I didn't need it. So part of my future plans are to change out these halogens. There's a recall on them anyway, and I want to switch them to LED, especially since my Sienna also has LED headlights. I plan on switching these out to the TRD Pro version that are also blacked out and I think it's gonna look cooler that way. As far as lifts go, I don't plan on lifting the truck, but I will get new tires and wheels as soon as these stock tires go out on me. I'll probably do a nice all-terrain just to round it out, but out of all the mods that I want to do, my priority is installing the Magnuson Supercharger. I plan on having this truck a long time and I feel like the supercharger will allow me to make the most of it. And then I'll probably install the front TRD sway bar because I'm the type of person who likes things to match and I don't like the black sway bar. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I also added these side steps because my wife's pregnant and she wanted an easier way to get into the truck. These are the Go Rhino RB20, I believe, and I also think they provide great protection against door dings. Installation of these is very easy. You just bolt them up to the cab and you're ready to go. So yeah, this concludes the video of my Tundra. I'm glad I got it. I love this color, and I'm glad I got the last of its kind in the V8 platform and I plan to keep this truck for a very, very long time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you again next time.